got one. Oh, we got a big one. We got him. We got him, y'all. What's up, Tastic Gang? It's your boy Turbo Tastic back with another video. And y'all know I have something that y'all need to see. All my videos are gonna be informational videos that's gonna help you because I love helping myself. And God has gave me this platform and I'm gonna use it to spread his word and things that I learned to help educate everybody. So, without further ado, of course y'all wanna know what y'all here for. So if you want to save money and you crappie fish or bass fish a lot, then you need to know this tactic. You need to have this in your inventory because it's just, it's going to be, it's better for you. With this tactic, you're going to be able to catch 10 times more crappie, 10 times more bass, and have that same exact lure in perfect conditions. I'm about to show y'all how to make an unbreakable lure, basically. And that's, well, in a sense. Because it'll still, you, you'll see in the video why I say that. You'll see in the video. I'm so appreciative of all the love and support that y'all are showing on the channel. It is crazy. Like, I, it is insane. It's crazy what y'all are doing and what the man above is doing for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all on my GoPro exactly how to build this. Or not build it, but make the unbreakable lure and y'all gonna use this well i hope you do because if you don't then hey i ain't gonna say nothing but you're missing out so sit back relax and go get some snacks because i have an amazing episode for y'all today but y'all get ready for this let's get straight to it i have learned an uh, effective way for you to stop having to waste of money on lures if you want to try this, it's very easy. All you got to do is go get some Gorilla Glue, choose your pack of baits that you want, and get you a jig head. I'm going to use a Blade Runner for my jig. That's going to be my choice. And of course, y'all already know the setup that we're using. So, all you want to do is first open the Gorilla Glue. Got that done, and now we're gonna get us a lure. Now, here's what you do. Now you wanna take the jig and regular hook it like you regular do it. All right, just like that. But once you go through there and you have it like this, you stop. Get you some of this. Get you some of this Gorilla Glue and apply it right there. Make sure y'all can see this for good. Apply it right there, just a little. Just a little. Don't gotta add a lot. Just a little. Just a little, you don't gotta add a line. Just go around the edge, make sure it's there. Once you feel like you got enough, go ahead and slide that up there. All the way. Like so. Push it up so it really gets that super glue all through that little area that you just hooked inside of the lure and the jig and let that sit for i say a minute or so and you are good look i even got some of my hands and my hands are already sticky so we're gonna tie this up and i'll show you how i tie this up all i do is a simple right here simple little knot you could teach anybody you could teach anybody how to do this and here's what you do Take the knot, take the line that you're using. I'm using a six pound test line. Take that right through that circle of the jig head. Right 
thing. Now once you do that, grab the other end, just like that, and have it out, like this. Then all you want to do, my hand's a little sticky, get that line, here, I'll get it back here. Get that line and just wrap, wrap it over, and just wrap about, you're going to repeat this same motion that I'm about to do about six to eight times, if preference. One, two, eight, hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you get that in. Then you just wrap it around and take it through the loop that you have at the bottom. Like that. And pull down. Now make sure you wet that little area and pull. Don't rip the jig off like I did. Or the lure. Don't rip the lure off like I just did. But you pull down just like that. And now you have a perfect knot. Follow it. Every step that I did, you should have a crappie jig with the unbreakable lure. This lure should not go anywhere once it dries, you know. I'll just let it sit. I'm going to make a couple more. But this is basically something that I have seen other people doing. I'm not the creator. But they've been doing this and it's saving them a bunch of money. So I'm like, hey, why don't I show y'all so y'all can save a bunch of money? So here you go. I'm going to do this for about two more, and I'm going to show you all the results the next day. We are now out here at the spot, and it's time to catch these crappie. We're going to see. Really, the goal the goal is to catch, I need to catch about eight or ten, and we're going to see if this one lure can last me the whole time while I'm out here. I'm showing you an effective way to not have to go to the store and always constantly buy new bait packs. You could just use that one pack and make it last a long time and not have to spend money over and over. Oh, I got something, y'all. I had something, but it looked like I had snagged it. Huh, I think I just snagged a crappie. the settle though the bobber right here then i got the lure about i say 12 14 inches down y'all can do the measurements yourself we got them we got them y'all Right there on the bank we got him. I think that was the one hitting every single time. Look at that. Perfect hookup. That hook comes right out and look. That lure is still in perfect conditions. Didn't even move one bit. We're gonna go ahead and get this nice slab up in the bucket. Nice little black crappie. Yes sir. Let's go. The original video was supposed to be me going to Vicksburg and catching some shad, but it's been raining and they've been letting the water flow and it was just, it was flooded. I couldn't even fish in the normal areas that I normally fish in. The water was way too hot. Two, and y'all know every time I'm gonna show you this lure. My 
can show you right. Still in perfect condition. Still, still attached. Yeah, we got this crappie. Got a little bigger size one. He gonna go in the bucket though. And all I did was go to Hobby Lobby and buy $5 Gorilla Glue. And you know, I had a pack already. These packs of uh, crappie lures cost three to five dollars at the most, or seven. And um, it's working, you know. Hey, they call me them two crappie you hear up in the jumping. Baby, he a real baby. We're gonna release him. That's a little baby cropping. Of course, y'all know we're gonna let him go and let him get bigger. But we're gonna get a close up release for y'all. Y'all see. two or three times but got him look at that nice crappie nice little cupid size crappie that's the third one we killed but that's the fourth one we've caught today and y'all see still perfect condition oh well, hello let me show you it's still in perfect condition nothing's wrong with it no damage to it y'all need to try this that y'all caught me a little bass <laughs> even with that bass hitting it it's still good it's still perfect for her y'all see the wind it's blowing right now but let's go got us a bass let's get a release on him i did not expect to catch a bass but Amazing on the ultra like. Got one. We got one. Dang, it won't. Dang, it's trying to get stuck. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. They do not want to be grabbed. Hey, every time that lure is perfectly fine, and we got us another nice slab. Gonna go and get him in a bucket. I just want to take the time out to really thank y'all for what you're doing for my channel. Like, it's just, it's amazing. I never thought nine, ten months ago that I would be where I am now doing what I'm doing, but it's all thanks to y'all and the man above because. I'm trying to tell y'all I shouldn't be doing this, but it's amazing because I actually have a love for what I'm doing. I love coming out here, making content for y'all, and just fishing in general because it brings me a sense of happiness and joy. And just seeing y'all get the same feeling that I get from me being out here is amazing. And all I can do is thank God for it. But we're going to go out get straight to fishing again. It had a bass and like seven crappie and it's still fine. Perfect. right out of his mouth but yeah y'all look at that that's another crappie nice little size nice eating family size so that's what i'm gonna do put him in the bucket so family can eat him still got the lure intact i'm seeing on this side though it is starting to rip now this has nothing to do with the super glue that i put on super glue i put on is still strong but right here you can see it's ripping off from hook and that's the only reason it's cut of the hook but it's still catching it's still catching y'all see all it is is just that one area in the back that keeps ripping off but I'm not gonna worry about it I'm gonna wait till it falls off completely That's literally the next cast. Dang, look at that one. Look at that crappie. That's a big crappie right there. That's the size that you can catch in a river and bigger. That's where they start at. It's a nice size crappie. The lure's barely hanging on, but it's hanging, you know? It's here. All I gotta do is just put it back in that area, but hey, I'm gonna keep fishing with it till 
Till it fall off, like I said. Another crappie, y'all. Let's go. Look at that. They just come and let the right now. Catching all about this size. Ooh, don't stick me, buddy. Don't stick me. All about this size. But, hey, we catching them. And that's all I'm trying to show y'all that I can catch them and that the tactics that I show y'all work effectively so you can try it out for yourself without having to even worry because I'm going through the worry and hustle if it works or not all you gotta do is just watch the video and go try it out for yourself we have been out here exactly 48 minutes and I'd have done that so y'all haven't checked out my other video how to set this crappie setup that I'm using Y'all should go check that out. It's literally, uh, it's a great video. Y'all yeah. see the lure though. Lure still hanging on, barely, barely. I just had two serious bites right at the bank. He was trying to get away. Dang. He hooked himself right in the nostril. Y'all see that? Right in the nostril. Hey, that lure's still working. Y'all saw I just stretched it. But, hey. Barely hanging on, but it's catching. Another nice slab. Slab City, baby. That's what I'm doing. Hey, I'm a new arrival, but I'm a new guest to the town, but hey, I, I made it and I'm living here comfortably. Get away, but ain't no getting away. Nice one. That's the last one I'm gonna keep because I only think that we can eat so much, and I'm gonna just release the rest now for this video. I'm gonna see how many fish I'm gonna catch on this lure before it rips off. But I think I got 10 that I can clean and cook, and um, yeah, I'll be able to feed a lot of people with that. Baby crop. 
I thought I could have staked in it for a little sawfish. We're gonna go ahead and get a release on him. I think the lure about to be done, y'all. I think it is. Right at the bank, literally right at my feet. No, no way, no way. Look at him squirming, trying to get away. If they let me grab him, then they easily get on hook, and I might let him go. This one not going though. Look at that, he hooked himself right up in the top, still hanging on, barely. And just cause this is a nice size black crappie, we gonna go ahead and release him. Nice release on this black crappie, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna make a deal with y'all real quick, all right? If you're still watching the video, we gonna make a deal. If I catch three more fish with this lure before it rips off, you need a like, share this video to somebody so they can try this for themselves and save some money, and subscribe so you can pick up on all the other tips that I'm gonna have for you. Cause you never know when I can help you save some money. Destroyed. It's destroyed though. I ain't gonna lie. Like it's it's done for. There's no, there's no, there's no fixing that. No fixing that. Oh, there it go. It ripped. It ripped. It's gone, y'all. The back piece is gone. We're going to see if it ripped up all the way. I still got two more fish to catch, y'all. Now you're, you're not a catfish. Stop. Stop doing stop doing all that. You're not a catfish. That's what catfish do. Oh. He jumped off and the hook went into my finger a little bit. Since he did that, no more playing Mr. Nice Guy. He going in the bucket and I'm eating him. It's a nice side black crappie though. Nice black crappie. It wasn't so nice to me though. Alright y'all, this lure catches me two more fish. Y'all, y'all gotta do what I said. That's another one. Gonna go ahead and release him. Let's go get a good release on him.
think the lure might be done after this next fish. I think it might be done all the way after this next one. We'll see though. If it ain't, y'all subscribe. I just threw it out right there. That's literally the next cast. These crappie get a big, y'all. These crappie get a real big. Hey, that lure's still on. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share this video to anybody else that might need to know this too. I was thinking about releasing this one. But this, this crappie didn't look too good. Look at that. Look at that slab. Y'all tell me. Y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all think I should release this crappie or should I, should I let him go? Should I release them or should I keep them? I guess you had to see at the end of the video what I did, huh? I'm gonna cast out right over here and I'm gonna catch something. Just like that. It's shallow, yeah. It's shallow. But they're stacked here. We about to go ahead and get a release on him. Just right here. And we're going to try for one more and get up out of here. If I catch one, this one, this cast right here, video's over. He had to hear me. Oh. He had to hear me. Or see that my girl was calling me because he he bit right then and there at the bank. Y'all saw that on a close up. Yeah. Nice crappie. Make sure that if you are new to the family, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe so you can be part of the family forever and see whenever I upload a video. If y'all enjoyed this, maybe you should do it for yourself, you know? Like, if you see, if you see an ideal that I do and wanna try it out for yourself and record it, do it and upload it because you never know where you can be later on in life. I never thought that I would be here recording, like I said earlier. But, we got this coffee, and we got a good God above us that's blessing me, and he could bless all of you too. All you gotta do is just follow him and show faith to him. But, we gonna go ahead and release this nice coffee and get up out of here, y'all. Without further ado, it's been my buddy, Mr. Coffee. Your boy Turbo Tassie. And we're gonna get out of here.